He's not the only local athlete on the field Saturday at Beaver Stadium. Delaware with a bunch of PA connections, including right here in District 3, with five players on the roster. Two of them captains, Waynesboro's Ethan Saunders and Cocalico's Brock Gingrich behind me. We were able to catch up with the Gingrichs and his family about his experience of playing in Beaver Stadium. At the coin toss for the Blue Hens, number 55 Brock Gingrich and number 48 Ethan Saunders represent the Blue Hens and their high schools at Beaver Stadium. For this game, a large and loud contingent Let's go, Brock! from Cocalico makes the trip to support Brock and his teammates. 30 became 60, 60 became, we're probably 120, 130 right now at this tailgate and made it a great day. Former Cocalico head coach and Brock's father, Dave Gingrich, soaks in the moment to see his son on Beaver Stadium's field. Uh, other than today, he'll never play in front of 100,000 people. So, you know, I just hope he, he just enjoys the experience, preparation going into it and, you know, uh, have some uh, Delaware pride. Brock starts at center in the first quarter. He throws a great block to spring the Blue Hens to a 66 yard touchdown run. Kidding me, first touchdown versus an FBS opponent this year for us. I mean, it means the world to us. Wish we could have had a little bit more of those today. The outcome of the game is not exactly what Brock and his teammates want, but Gingrich is proud of the effort from players and fans alike against a top 10 team in Penn State. Being from PA, Penn State's the big dog, and just being able to play in front of 100,000 100, fans. Uh, you saw the yellow and blue here as well, so just shows our uh, fan support. And in the stands, his dad, proud to have been his coach and watch the captain Brock has grown into. Super proud of him, and uh, you know he's a he's a he's a good kid, and it's a, a day I won't forget.